So my name is Bramty and my name is Lewis. Hi guys, so today I am here with Lewis, aka my husband. For the past six years, we've put our entire lives on the internet for you to watch. And by the title of this video, you know what's happening right now. My water is currently breaking. We've dictated exactly what we wanted to film and what we wanted you to see. Always in full control of the 750 videos we've posted. But now, that's over. So me and Louis, um, we're thinking about having another baby. And we took the next step. No longer in control. Real, raw, and uncut. That's it. 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 That's it
It's a beautiful Masida. I love you guys. It's a beautiful Masida. I love you. Where are you going, Kanye? I'm going. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna go do some work. I'm gonna take some pictures for our school. Okay, and I'll see you guys later. Be good at school today, okay? So today's a very exciting and special day for me. I'm doing something I've never done before. So I became friends with this WWE superstar, Titus O'Neil, and he asked me if I could help him out and do some photography for a school that he's completely remodeling. Hello, everyone. Hello. How are you? Hi. Hey, how's it going? Hi again. Hey, how's it going? How are you? Good to see you? Hello, how are you? How are you? You want me to get the gym? Like, what's main things you want me to get? You can get the gym, the workout area, the football field. Okay, all the things that are done already? Yeah. Okay. Um, the prosperity center. Should okay. be somebody down there. Okay. But we're going to actually do a tour. This place doesn't happen without this leader. Oh, right for here. sure. You know, we, we yeah. talk about champions in our community. He continues to to open doorways, access, and equity. Yeah, he's, ama he's amazing. Yeah, so I want to help out and help out with social media and yeah. kind of revamp, since you guys are revamping the school, Absolutely. revamp your social media. So I brought my stuff and we're going to be taking yeah. pictures of the school and make it look super nice. So yeah, whenever you need anything, social media-wise, if you need any questions, I'm here. Thank you. Thank you. So when he asked me, the answer was yes because personally, I grew up with a single mom with two of my siblings, and we were always low income. So it's just something that like I wanted to do from the bottom of my heart, and I could relate to. Yeah, yeah, guys, if you can come like closer, even if we have some people squat in the middle. Anybody? Okay. No. All right, well, thank you guys. I'm out here working for free. Tax right off. All right, looks good. Wait, 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 wait! Wait, wait! Can you one more time, one more time! Yeah? Oh, nice to meet you. Like royalty? Yes, yes. You did you? Yes! <laughs> Oh, uh, nice to meet you. Hello. Hi. So today I have the pleasure of taking my mom and my brother out to lunch to my favorite Cuban spot and I actually have something very important to talk to them about. Thank you. So good. So ugly, I see. Can't fix that. Ha! I get it from you, bro, so. Realistically. I mean, I don't know how you get it from me. You get it from up your parents, maybe. You just have mostly, right? You just have mostly. And you're telling you. You're telling no, not you, not you. Oh, no, your no, parents? No. Maybe, you're, maybe you're, your dad. You look more like dad. No, no, you look like dad, bro. I literally want to. I'll uppercut you sometimes. But if I'm so ugly, if I'm so ugly, why, why do you have my haircut? <laughs> who put you on the mullet? Who got the mullet first? Well, who looks better though on the mullet? That's subjective. That's subjective. That's who's, opinionated. Whose mullet flows better though? Flows. That's, that's opinionated. Look. Ay, ya rico. Well, you know, speaking about your daddy. What's up, man? What's up what? What's up? I know he hits you up, doesn't he? he on he Facebook. Tries, he tries it. Doesn't he like, does, doesn't his like, um, his uh, wife or ex-wife or whoever? I think it's no, his current wife. or his mom too, right? Yeah, his mom. So the balls that that man has is incredible. The fact that he's hitting them up and then his wife too, using other people's accounts and crazy stuff like that. I just don't really understand where it's coming from and I just hope my brother is in the right mindset and he's not thinking about writing him back. You know that you, no. know, that, you, know that you have an, a sister now? Yeah, you have a sister. And yeah, and a little brother. Brand new addition to the family. A newborn baby. I'm gonna have to adopt her, man. Yeah. I have to save her. I, no, me and Brent, no, Good not really, here, but bro. me and Brent, were talking about it. We're like, poor kids, bro. Like, God knows what they're going through. I remember when he took me to a girl's house one time. I told you about it. Mm -hmm. And we went to the movie theater or some shit like that. They weren't going to the movies. We we're going to the movies, and I was like, Mom, uh, Dad took me to this girl's yeah. house, mm -hmm. and it was weird because she had a bra. Remember, uh -huh, I told you? I remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But she was wearing a bra, and I was like six, maybe? 
but I was smart enough to know, like, I guess. Yeah, so you heard that right. When I was a little kid, my dad was already like fucking around and doing messed up shit to my mom. So the first thing that I remember when I was like probably five or six years old is that he took me to a random girl's house and bought groceries for her. And when she came out the door, her titties were out. And that's how I knew that he was cheating on my mom. No, but bro, he, we went to go buy groceries for a, whole, a girl. Like we went to the store, he took me buying groceries. I remember, still like yesterday. We're at the store buying milk, all this shit, and we don't, we don't go home. We go to another girl's house. And bring everything. Yeah, and she opened the door, she's in a bra. My dad's like talking to her and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Fucked up, bro. He had always been cheating. Like, he had jobs as a trucker. He would go around the country. He had, like, other wives, girlfriends, you name it. So, I'm just not surprised. No, not, the, not only that, bro. Like, no, he had no morals. Yeah, like, from, with but, the, but, like, the he would have you know, dragged us into it at one point or another. He would have had some shit to do. He would have been like, hey, I need you. Okay. I, I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be dragged into the shit he was doing with fucking... Nah. His fucking own niece. Uh, so, you heard that right, and the fact that I even have to say it out loud just disturbs me, and it gives me goosebumps thinking about how fucked up of a person you have to be to be able to do that, to fuck your own niece, to have sex with your own niece, and have a family that supports that. That's that was sick. That's, that's that was different. too much. That's different. Yeah, I want to like a relationship with, a f and that's sick. And, and that's, that's how you know if, that's how you know the family doesn't. Doesn't love him, doesn't give a shit. That's one of the many reasons why I'm so happy and I thank God every day that he's not around in my life anymore. Gracias, hijo. Nada, mami. Of course. Thank you very much. It was so? It was delicious. It was good, right? But I it's, mean, it's, it's, it's a lot much, of food. It's too much food, yeah. Yeah, I get an equal hambre. You have to be hungry, hungry, hungry. But I was hungry, but I can't just finish the it's whole thing. It's too much. Yeah. So after this lunch, I definitely feel like something lifted off my shoulders. I'm glad that we got to talk about all these things. Now I know where my brother's head's at. And I saw my mom get emotional, so I'm just happy that we're all like past this stage of our lives and we're all happy. Bro, she has no limits on TikTok. Yo, bro. TikTok time is all she the time. She has no limits. No she doesn't rest, stop. No sleep, nothing. I get tired of it. Yeah, please. Thank you. I'm gonna push him in here. So on the way to get drinks, you won't believe what the, what the hell happened to us. So we knew beforehand that our car was about to like die because we needed gas, but we completely forgot because TikTok consumed us mm -hmm. um, that we freaking broke down in the middle of the road in the worst part of town. <laughs> I know, bro. Thank the Lord that <laughs> La Raza was there, like, fellow Latinos were there and bro, they, they helped were, us. They were so helpful, but they're also making fun of me, bro. How do you call it on TikTok to find us? On TikTok, we have accounts separate, but on YouTube, it's called the Bram Pam. Bram Pam. Bram Pam. Thank you. I got cash, I got cash. You have, no, I don't have too much cash, though. How much do you have? Like, probably, maybe like 20 bucks, maybe. Hey, bang, bang, bang! Mira, mira, you gotta push. Mira, you gotta push. Mira, mira, mira. 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 Mira, he didn't help, he didn't help. So of course I wanted to help them because they helped us, right? So I'm handing out money, right? Not remembering who exactly pushed the car out. And this dude, and I didn't even know, but this dude just gets in line and takes money. He never helped out. He didn't help at all, that's so messed up. You just, they just, they just helped so much, bro. Thank you, thank you. So let me just say, it wasn't the smartest thing to do to pull out a Gucci wallet full of cash at that gas station. It wasn't. Well, they had to know I'm that bitch. Bro, that bitch about to get robbed. <laughs> <laughs> I got a Chevrolet out crazy. 
Nah, man, I'm good, yeah, bro. Real. You ever seen a Chevrolet? Of course, I've seen Chevys before. Oh, right up, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, bro. Much love, man. Thank yeah, you, bro. I love, hey, you know My son died, so every time I see a young man, I just want to holler at him. Thank you, bro. Appreciate and it, man. Big things, man. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, bro. Go yeah. ahead, man. Thank All you, right? bro. Yeah. And you got a gorgeous wife. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let me just say it was the worst gas station in all of Tampa and things got out of hand quick. Yeah. I'll get some cash out, bro. Yeah. Hey, hey, listen here. Hey, you got a camera that's your shit. So as soon as we saw the gas station, there was like people posted outside. Yeah. And not just like regular people. It was like straight out of like, game GTA. <laughs> just think that. It was just like it just looked like they were on drugs. So we grind fam right here. <laughs> we pushing, yeah? What you do? I play for the box. What you mean? What I do? Bicycle shop. It's me, Elmo. Look, it's Elmo. Man. Got it. You said Brad. Flex, flex the tattoo on it. You said Brad. There we go. Oh, you wipe me down. This way you wipe me down, man. Wipe me down. Wipe me down. Wipe me down. How much does it face cost? Uh, two dollars, man. Um, so why did you say two dollars? So I didn't feel like the need or like the desire to tell him exact amount mm -hmm. of how much that car was worth. He doesn't need to know that car is worth over a hundred thousand dollars, especially at that gas station. If I even said that number out of my mouth, I think I probably would have died. I'm telling you, GTA, he would have pulled you out the car and exactly, went in. exactly. Yeah. Your Gucci purse would have been gone. Yeah, Penelope, I don't know. I got it. It's a tray. Somebody gave it to me. Yeah. They gave it to me. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it, man. And another thing I want to ask you, when people say that's a nice car, why don't you ever say that's my wife's car, thanks? Why do you always just say thanks? Like you're taking away Bro. over the fact that it's my car and that I work hard for that car. Most of the time. Like you're stunting for me, that's what I feel like. I feel no. like you're kind of jealous of me, so you just want to take, you want to take the compliments. No, most of the time I'm literally driving the car. I'm pumping the gas. I'm I'm the one that looks like owns the car. So I'm not gonna, if he asks me, oh nice car, or if he tells me nice car, I'm gonna say thank you. I'm not gonna say, oh wait, No, before. say it's my wife, like stunt on me. Be like, it's my wife. So you should be proud and be like, yes, I did though, I did though, I did though. Oh, it's her car. It's her car, it's not my car. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's my wife's car. She worked very hard for it. She's, she's a, she's a businesswoman. She makes all the money. For real. That's good for you. Yeah, good for me, right? <laughs> Great for me. I need to get a drink after this. I'm I need a drink too, bro. I don't lie. I, I was stressed in there. I was like, bro, I'm like looking outside, looking in there, looking in there. And the worst part of it is that Penelope, remember, she's not going to school, so she's in the back seat watching all of this go down. Imagine if I was here by myself. I cannot imagine. If you were here by yourself, you would have got, got attacked. You would have got attacked. Everybody here is telling me you have, you have a, 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 a beautiful wife, all this stuff. Everybody's telling you? Let that, let that... Be a, be let a reminder? Be a reminder. Huh? I know, I messed up. Thank you. That's that a wrap. Be, let that be a reminder of the type of wife you have, the type of woman you have. A very fine... When people ask whose car is it, you say mine. You're sorry, honey, I apologize. Because you have a habit where people will be like, you have a nice car. I say thank you, yeah. I know, you'd be like, that's my wife. I was driving it, literally, people saw me get out of it driving it. Why would I be like, oh, it's not mine, actually, it's a, it's a rental. I'm joking. Kind of. Kind of, man. Nah, like, like, like a documentary. Uh, it's... Yeah? No. Babe, I know, babe, then. Okay. Let's go with, babe, it's not done. Let's go. Hey, I paid for the gas, okay? Gotta get every dollar. All right, I'm out. All right, bro. I'm out, man. Give me your number, dog. I want to talk to you. No, man. No, 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 man. No, man. Nah, nah, nah. 
Nah, yeah, bro. I know you are, but I'm gonna be a millionaire too. I know you are, bro. One right. day, everybody, everybody has a right. Nah, one day. Tomorrow. Yo, so let me ask you something. Why the hell wasn't the door opening? I was. You see me knocking on the door. I, I saw had anxiety, you knock, bro. Yes, I saw you knocking, and it was open. I think you were just too nervous open. to realize that it was open. Okay, I got you. Okay. All right. Yes, sir. You do. Yo, me, yo. Because I couldn't open the door. I'm trying to open the door. It wasn't open. Hold this, please. This place is stressful as hell. Holy shit. Ooh. Let me get your number. To you? Yeah, and I'm like, nah, bro. Nah, I don't. I was like, nah, nah, nah. So originally we were on the way to get drinks, but by the time we were done pumping gas, we needed drinks. Like not wanted, but needed drinks. So we came to celebrate and have a couple of drinks in celebratory of closing on our house. Cheers to being live Cheers. and not stuck in the road. Bro, that was not stressful. stranded or having to call uh, a call tow truck. That was stressful. Oh, that's strong. This is strong, right? Wait, this is strong. strong. Let me see. Try mine. Well, besides that, also cheers for closing on our house yesterday. Finally. Finally. After biggest, like months. The biggest freaking stress ever. Headache. I don't want to deal with that ever again. So a while ago we had mentioned that we were selling our house and so many people were shocked and a lot of speculation started coming about. People thought we were broke, people thought we lost our house due to a lawsuit that we had against the HOA. Um, but that's not the case. Basically, we decided to sell because one, we were outgrowing our house and two, because the market was is currently and was amazing. And then three, a little bit, I would say just we just cannot stand being in an HOA. And I think we need to like keep track of everything that is just being spent with this house just because it's like so much freaking money. We've been so, spending so much in this last like two months of do, selling I'm the house. I'm surprised we're not broke. We're about to get a new house, so I just don't want to go into it bankrupt. Yeah, and it's cutting into our profits too, like in a way, because yeah. we're supposed to get a certain amount of money. Well, not we're really in. that, but I just feel like I, I'm like scared going into such like a huge house. It's gonna be a bigger payment. Yeah, it's a bigger mortgage. Are we ready for that? Are, are we ready are to you, take that on? You're thinking like, we're, are we biting too much off, basically? Yeah, we bought our house for seven. Seven twenty. How much do we owe on the house left? We owe five seventy five. Okay, and then we sold it for one point two five. So profit would be like six seventy five. The first HOA thing was like eighteen thousand three hundred dollars. Yeah, they wouldn't let us close on time, so we had to extend with the payment extra four thousand. Okay. So one of the first trees we planted was was like two thousand dollars minus the labor. No, that's labor and all, okay, like two thousand dollars. Okay. And, and then, then the, the second trees. set of trees that we're planting today, literally, is with labor and all twelve thousand three hundred dollars. HOA fees that we didn't pay or whatever, okay. it was five thousand like three hundred bucks or whatever. And then the all the electrical work, all the stuff we have to repair, we had to repair a bunch of stuff. The electric company three thousand, the Ace Handyman services six thousand, nine thousand dollars more. So total that we've spent so far, out of pocket to deal with this house. To sell it, just, just to sell it. Just to be able to sell it, because we had a lien on our house. $51,000. That's literally, out of pocket. No, that's literally all the extra money they're paying us. Because we got above asking. So all the extra money the above, above asking is gone. asking price is gone. It's gone. And we spent all that. It is what it is. We're still making crazy profit, but, but still, like, it could have like been 50K more. Like, yeah, and 50K can do a lot in a new house. Could buy a bunch of stuff, you know? Cheers to um, Cheers. hopefully closing out that chapter this week and being done with the house. And moving on to the next chapter. And moving on to the next chapter, new house, new goals, new everything. Now it's on to bigger and better things, the new chapter. We actually found our perfect house. And I know we said that before, but this one is the this one. One's, this one's legit. Found this house after looking forever, and then it met all of like the things we wanted. High ceilings, movie theater. And then you stop like a dumbass. What am I supposed to do, stop like a dumbass? It's who got in front of me. Switch lanes! I know, I know. Well, I brought my crew. <laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? Appreciate y'all for coming out. Yeah, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go.